It's my pleasure today to talk to uh, Georges Bluton, who is located in France. And this is going to be a, a kind of an unusual interview because we're going to talk about that device behind him, which is a, an electric propulsion system for paragliders. And while I've, you know, in the past we've interviewed people about electric airplanes and electric sailplanes, this is going to be the first time we've actually done an electric paraglider. So, George, welcome to EV World. Thank you. <laughs> a pleasure to have you. Well, let's start off, first of all, by just you telling us a little bit, how did you get into paragliding? Uh, I, I was teaching uh, paragliding since uh, uh, 25 years. Okay. <laughs> I was teaching paragliding. I tested the power motoring 20 years ago, but it was with uh, gasoline engines, and it makes much, much, much more noise, uh, it's very uh, uncomfortable uh, to fly with that. So, I let it and uh, I said, oh, I'm coming back when it's going to be electric. So, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> 20, so years, 20 years after. <laughs> so, how long did it take you then to develop? Did you, did you buy this system or did you develop the system and then have someone manufacture it? No. First, um, I, I created um, Aero, Aero Nature with, uh, with um, a school, a paragliding, paramotoring school right. with electric paragliders. So I bought some paramotors, electric, but um, for uh, teaching, there wasn't um, reliable, there were some, some problems with them. So I, I asked uh, somebody to create a, a system variable, very strong, with, made for, for school. Uh, because for the school, the, 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 we need power, we need uh, to be uh, on the photo uh, every time. So it needs a, a really, really strong uh, system. So we create this system with an engineer was uh, working for uh, Airbus. Okay. You know Airbus. Right, uh, Airbus. Airbus. Yes. Yes. Is doing the the Ifan with the, the electric. Yes, exactly. What a beautiful airplane. Yes, yes, yes. So I work with him to create that with a, a propulsion system. I'm not selling the, the frame or harness. I'm selling. We are selling just the, the propulsion system. Okay. Because the, the interest is to to have a system you can buy and put on every frame. See? Oh, okay. So the, so so that you're not you're not just you're not selling the frame itself. That could be retrofitted. You could take any two cycle yes. gasoline paraglider propulsion system and swap that out for your new electric system. Then exactly, it's very it's very deep. Okay, that, that's cool. All right, so let's talk a little bit about paragliding itself. Basically, what we're saying is that this is a device that you're going to basically strap on to your back, and there's a large parasail uh, above your head that once this thing gets going, it begins to provide forward flight motion, and you start you start literally to fly with underneath a large a large wing. Hello, uh, paragliding is is um, taking off uh, from a slope. You see, paramotoring it's uh, from the ground. Right, uh, right. Uh, you're starting everywhere on every field. Uh, um, you need just power. Uh, you put uh, the, the wing on your head. After you put power, and when you have power, it's climbing, and you lift, you get up, and start, and start away. Right. No problem. Right. So what? So what are the advantages of going with electric? I know. I look. Actually, I looked at the Aero Nature website, and you've got a long list of comparisons between electric and petrol gasoline. Uh, engine models. So, sort of, what are some of the the advantages of electric over the gasoline? I, I think it's exactly the same advantages as a, a car, electric car, 
this this uh, uh, gasoline car. Uh, there's um, it's easy to start. There's nothing to to start up. No? I'm going to show you how I started. It's very simple. Okay. Uh, you have to, start to to make a two switch on, and right. then you can start. Right. Uh, but it's very easy to start up. Um, it's comfortable. You don't have to make mixture. Uh, put gasoline inside. Uh, you have no smell of gasoline inside your car. Uh, you can put it on, on your car. Right. It's, it's very small. Huh? Um, on, when you are flying, you can stop the engine as you want. Okay. You know, um, with the uh, paragliders, we're flying with the thermals. Thermals is hot right. air. Yeah. Huh? Yes. We can fly with that. So, with an uh, electric paraglider, you can fly with the engine and stop the engine as you want and continue with the thermals. Right. It's very easy. And there's a, another thing, it's uh, clean. There's no zero emissions. Uh, it's very quiet for the neighbors. Uh, you can fly uh, uh, around your house. Uh, <laughs> there's no problem <laughs> with the neighbors. Right. Very important. So what's the typical t uh, takeoff time here? So you put this on your back. How far do you, is the is the takeoff run itself? How far do you have to walk or run before you get lift off? Uh, normally, you put the wing uh, on the ground. Right. You prepare the wing. Uh, you just uh, take the power motor and put it on your um, uh, on your shoulders. On your shoulder, shoulders, uh, you fix, uh, you um, attach, attach the wing on the carabiners. You have carabiners there, right? And after you just have to go on to put the wing uh, up, right? And after put the engine on, and uh, it's, 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 it's taking off. It's very easy, very easy. Okay, so you've got. You've got this on your back. You've got the you've got the wing behind. Is this all something that you can do by yourself, or you need to have some people help you with? No, no, you don't need help. Okay. You can do by yourself. Okay. Uh, so, so it's a really a personal craft. You can uh, you can manage uh, as you want. So, how long can you stay? I mean, obviously, somebody's going to ask this because they always ask about electric cars. This, how 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 fast is it? How far can I fly? You know, some of those questions. So give us a little bit of some of the, the specs here. How big a battery pack uh, do you have on it? How long does it last? How long does it take to recharge? Some of those things. We can have uh, different uh, battery packs. Okay. Uh, between um, uh, 30 to 70 ampere hour. Okay. Ampere. Right. Uh, uh, yep. Uh, um, Around it's around uh, the same time in flight in minutes, the the ampere per hour. Forty ampere hours, it's forty minutes of flight. Okay. Seventy ampere hours is more than one hour of flight. Oh, okay. If you're running the motor continuously, but if you're turning it off and on, and f and flying mm -hmm. thermals, then it, obviously you could you could uh, yes, fly sure. much longer. Yeah. But when we're talking autonomy, it's always with the engine. Right. With the motor. On. Right. Right. So, in in, in a uh, in a straight line, if you're going to fly a straight line, how far could you conceivably fly this? The speed. Well, yeah. yeah. If you 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 took off and you wanted to go from what Montpellier to uh, ah, to okay. you know to to the <laughs> furthest town you could reach, how far could you I fly? Could the, the paragliders are very slow aircraft. Very slow, right. That's what I was going to ask you is how fast are they? They're, fl they're flying at 40, 40 kilometers per hour. Okay, 14, which is about 8 or so miles, uh, 8, 9 miles per hour. Uh, uh, no, no, 40, 40. Oh, 40. Four zero. 40, yes, yes. Sir. Oh, okay, four zero. All right, right. so that's, that's more like about 25 miles an hour then. Yes, yes. Let's go still that. pretty fast. It's not very fast, <laughs> uh, but uh, you see that in one hour you can do 
40 kilometers right. around the base. So, okay. So what, how does that compare with the gasoline models then? If I had a little two-stroke on the back with, you know, what, three liters uh, of fuel, what, how long could I fly? It's hard to compare okay. because uh, with uh, you know that uh, with the gasoline you have um, so much energy. Right. But uh, it's uh, incredible. With uh, uh, with ten liters you can uh, fly four hours. Oh, okay. Or five hours. Right. No kids. You can fly a long time. Right. Uh, what's the what's the possible? typical if you are flying? Any paraglider, how long does a person normally want to fly? I mean, obviously, there's a physical limit. You have to come down at some point. Uh, just bio biology says, come down and feed me or, you know, get rid of bodily waste or whatever. So how, what, how long do people typically fly any paraglider? You're right. It's the same problem for every sport. After 40, 45 minutes... Your attention is coming to slowing down, so right. you have to come back. Right. Uh, we know that uh, more or more than um, eighty percent of the flights are under fifty minutes. Five so, zero. Yes. Five zero. Fifty so, minutes. Okay. So with uh, with electric power, power motor, you can fly. Okay. Uh, normally, uh, right. after. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, the pilots who are flying with uh, gasoline engines can fly two or three hours, but it's very exceptional. It's right. not uh, normal. Yeah, how heavy are these? Are these things fairly heavy to carry on your back? I don't know. It's the same between uh, the gasoline engine and electric engine. Huh? We have uh, 25 kilos. Okay. And uh, for one hour, around uh, 30 kilos. Okay. Around. All right. Well, let's talk about training. So if I, so if I came to Montpellier, uh, mm -hmm. how long, and, and I do have a private pilot's license already, although I haven't used it yeah. in a long, long time. Um, so how long would it take me to learn to fly solo <laughs> in one of these? <laughs> Uh, the first solo, solo flight needs um, around um, 10 half days. Okay. Yeah. Around 10, 10 half days. But uh, it's a bit uh, difficult to, to start because uh, you have to manage the wing before. Right, right. Yeah. It's the, the most uh, important thing is to manage the wing. Right. After, you can do, do the same thing with the engine. It's relatively easy, but uh, for, to be um, um, a license, license pilot, to, to have a license, to be uh, really uh, to, able to fly alone, you need around 20 lessons okay. of uh, half, uh, an half day, right. three, two or three hours per day. Okay, so... So it would take me at least, if I came there, it would take me at least probably two weeks. Yes. To yes. fly, yes. To, to, to get ready to fly, uh, fly one of these type devices then. Yes. After, for, for a pilot, sometimes it's uh, easier. I saw a Canadian who comes for one week and he flew. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, maybe I, maybe I could shortcut that a little because, well, again, I haven't flown in a long time, but I do know the basics. So um, that's very cool. Uh, so what is this? If somebody wants to convert, they're already, already into paragliding, and I have no idea how many EV World listeners and viewers are actually into paragliding, but let's say they were interested. What would it cost them to, uh, to, to acquire one of these units? Uh, um, for the unit or yes. for the lessons? Yeah, no, uh, for the unit. Units, yeah. um, it's, it's one of the problems of the electric uh, <laughs> engines is that uh, the half part of the cost is due to the battery. Right, yeah. Okay, so it's a great, yeah. really high cost for that. Um, for one complete uh, propulsion system, it costs around 
10,000 euros. Okay. Complete with a battery. Eh? Okay. Uh, with that, you have 45 minutes of flight. Okay. To have uh, one hour of flight, it costs um, 12,000 euros to okay. have the system complete. Okay. So how many, how, how geared are you, are geared up for you, our production? How many of these can you turn out, let's say, in a year's time? I got to say the oh, okay. How many of these are you prepared to produce each year? Ah, for now, it's a very small production. Right. We are producing around 10 units per year. Okay. But uh, this year, we launched the Exomo uh, website. Okay. Because uh, for now, we are selling only in Europe, in France, in on the Switzerland, uh, but now we have to to be uh, worldwide, uh, right? <laughs> and try to sell everywhere, right? So we are we are searching a dealer in, in in the USA. Okay, what, so what is the cost of a complete system, parasail and the propulsion system and the wire harness, you know, shroud? Um, what is all that? If I were just going to come and say I want to buy the whole system, I can sell a complete system new at uh, fifteen thousand euros. Okay, all right. Um, with, with a wing, everything. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So what else do we got? Uh, we got the battery propulsion. We talked about uh, safety. What are some of the safety issues here that? Uh, you know, I, while I would be interested in strapping this on my back, my wife would be less than excited. <laughs> I know. The safety is, is due to, the, to the, the speed of a paraglider with very, very slow. It's a very right. slow engine, aircraft. So at, at 40 kilometers, uh, you don't, it's not very... <laughs> Right. Well, it's not, it's not the speed that kills you, it's the fall. <laughs> no, you're not falling. Uh, okay. uh, the, the wings are uh, tested and uh, they're able to fly without you. Okay. <laughs> you don't Just, do anything, uh, the wing is flying. Yeah, if, if you run out of, I mean, this is going to be a concern. Somebody says, well, what happens when the battery runs out? Then what? So I ah. assume it's it's just, just like any para, it's just like any paraglider. It's gonna yes. it's gonna be a little heavier because obviously you have the the rig on your back. But I would think it would land. It's you know basically you're flying under a large parachute. No, it's a, it's a, it's like a paraglider. If you if you put off the engine, instant uh, you have always a paraglider. It's flying like, like a paraglider. Huh? It's gliding, huh? this climbing, right. but not very, very fast, and you can land uh, easily with that. And when we teach uh, the paramotoring, uh, we teach uh, all the landings without the engine. Okay. So you, so you learn how to fly. I mean, when I was learning to fly, one of the first things they taught me was how to land without the engine. <laughs> so, so, so yeah. So I could appreciate that you want to teach teach that as well. So, are you the instructor in this program, or do you have younger uh, people that are the instructors? No, no, I'm instructor too. You're the instructor. I'm instructor in paragliding and paramotoring. Okay. How many so yes. how many hours in the air do you have? Do you keep track of that? Oh, <laughs> well, after 25 old. years, a lot, I'm sure. I I've more than 26 uh, years of practice, right? So I don't know more than, than uh, three, three hundred, <laughs> three, three thousand uh, hours, hours of flight. Hours? Oh yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That is. Great. I would. I would love to try it. It looks like a lot of fun. So, so where are you going from here? What are your plans for the future? Then, do you? see this expanding into other types of aircraft? I mean, we're starting to see now these auto, uh, the, uh, the drone type 
things like they're doing over in Germany with the multiple blades and things like that? Are you are you going to stick with the paragliders? I think that uh, today uh, the the paramotor is is uh, um, the best engine to test the electric flight because the, the weight is uh, very light and uh, it not needs uh, uh, more power to, to fly. Flying needs power, you know. Um, with this engine, we have uh, 50 kilowatt. I was going to ask you that. Okay, so it's a 50, 50 kilowatt, kilowatt engine. Okay. And to fly, uh, to make a flyby, uh, to stay in flight, you need around four or five thousand watt. Okay. It, yeah. It's, it's very important. It's very right. important. But uh, for the the, um, the the other craft, it's it's more, more and more and more. Right. So today, it's possible to fly one hour with the power motors. Uh, with the other engine, it's possible too, but it costs a lot of money Lost because after you need right. more batteries, right? And so forth. I, I think the development is coming with the with the, the batteries because it's for the half of the price today, and uh, it's it's uh, uh, it's coming. Um, it's make, it takes time to 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 change. Uh, we in five years we have uh, around uh, hundred percent more uh, autonomy with uh, batteries. Uh, now we are flying one hour. I hope in five years we have two hours. Okay. If we have two hours in five years, we kill instant, 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 <laughs> the, the, the gasoline engine. Right. Because. It's it's a it's a very comfortable. And every time I I take the, the engine and give it to, to a pilot who's who's flying with gasoline, you say, ah, oh, incredible! The sound you can fly without a helmet. Right. Incredible. incredible. So right. I think it's it's uh, the future. Today it's it's uh, already uh, already uh, a great a great toy, uh, really. Okay. But uh, tomorrow, with two hours, we are we going to kill everybody. <laughs> Very good. So are there any videos that uh, I could find, that I could post with this, showing people taking off and flying with this uh, unit? Ah, uh, you can find on my website. Okay. Uh, you can uh, see me on All my right. website. I'll, I'll check it. Okay, good. Yeah, well, look, this, is real, this has really been interesting. I don't know when I'll ever get over to France to, uh, to, to, to strap one of these on. I would love to try it sometime, but just don't tell my wife about it. So, <laughs> <laughs> George, you to, go ahead. You want to, to hear the... Um, yes, the I would. Yeah, party? please. Yes. I, I take it well. Okay. <laughs> no, please oh, do. God. Just to, to switch. Right. Uh, a major switch, and uh, when the pilot is ready to take off, it just put the pilot switch. Yeah. It make a sound to say it's okay. I can run. I can run. And so the throttle is there. Oh yeah. Ah, okay. Slowly, yeah, because. Uh, yeah. So you've got that up. You've got a control up here that you can turn it off and on with then. Uh, the control there uh, on your end. Oh, okay. And you strap it on. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> and then I assume you have your, your hands are up on the shroud to control the wing. Yes, you have the brakes on your, on your hands right. to control the wing and here the power. Right. Okay, nice. <laughs> that's how it works. Excellent. Well, that's very good. Look, thank you so much for uh, for doing this um, and bringing the, the the cleanliness and the fresh air back to uh, to paragl powered paragliding. <laughs> thank you so much. All righty. Okay. Au revoir. Okay, Billy. See you. Bye.
Bye-bye. Bye-bye.